don't know how well you can hear me because that tank is really fucking loud but it is almost new year's hey y'all i know you missed me i'm back for the new year well it's kind of a little far into the new year it's january 12th when i'm uploading this but that is besides the point it is still a new year as i was editing this video i realized that my mouth was something else entirely. So if you don't like a lot of language, then I'm gonna suggest you kick it because I was on something these in this video. So and I have other videos that are a little less, just a little less, but that was my little warning. Um, Happy New Year, guys. Enjoy the video. I'm recording on my phone right now because I don't have a camera. I didn't bring it with me when I came home for break. I've been here for like a week. I think a little over a week, honestly. I've um, I've just been taking a break from literally everything. And I'm going back to campus either tomorrow or Sunday at some point. I actually don't go back to school until the end of January but I have nine month housing on campus, so I can come and go as much as I want. I have to eat a spoonful of black eyed peas. It's like a tradition we do every year for New Year's. Um, you eat a spoonful of black eyed peas for, I think it's luck, into the New Year. I think everyone else in the house has done it, except for me and my sister. I don't like beans, so I absolutely dread this part, but you know, it is what it is. I'm still gonna do it. Oh, ew. That's so fucking ew. Cheers. Here, three, two, one. It's over. It's over. It's ready to be a new year. This is all music. Make a real new year. On the 2600 water for crystal train. You love. Damn it. Grab someone you know. Grab someone you love. Grab someone you know. I've made it my goal. One year I'm gonna be there to watch the ball drop. <laughs> Not this year, cause COVID. Yeah. But one year. Hi guys, I'm at Popeyes right now getting food for the family. I wanted to get out the house and get food because the only thing I was really craving was some fucking good fries. I went to Chick-fil-A first, which they're usually open, they're fine and all, but they were closed, I guess. It was weird, because there was people in the building. Lights were on and all, but they had drive through blocked off and no one could get in or whatever. So, I don't know what was happening with that. So, I just came to Popeye's. I've got a whole, like, biker look going on right now. I also went into Rite Aid and got gloves and Aquaphor, because the bitch is getting another tattoo. <laughs> I'm getting 999 behind my ear and then I've got one on my arm right here that I've got to get touched up now that it's fully healed. The artist like missed a couple spots but my mom's gonna do this one. There's a whole ass like bunch of other parking spots and they choose to park right next to me. Hello? I'm just trying to eat because literally all I've eaten today is a croissant. Thank you. Thank God the craze for the Popeye's chicken sandwiches is fucking over with cuz holy fuck was that a wild time. Good afternoon guys. It is the next day. Still wearing the same outfit. I don't really care. I didn't end up doing my tattoo yesterday. I had a rocking headache and I did not want to get a tattoo right here because I knew that was just going to actually kill my head. I just said I'll come back like next week or something. It is almost three o'clock right now. Um, 
I'm gonna fix my hair and like finish getting ready and stuff like that. I don't wanna go back when it's like too late because like obviously the sun sets like four or five o'clock now. I wanna try to finish getting ready, go grocery shopping, and get back to campus before it gets too dark, too cold, all that. It's also supposed to snow. It's supposed to rain and snow like later on. So I want to avoid driving in that. So I'm gonna finish getting ready. I gotta touch up my hair soon. Yeah, it's like weirdly colored at this point. Like my roots are grown in and it's like half blonde, half purple. Not even purple, it's like this pinkish purple kind of color. I love using the hair when like I don't feel like really slicking my hair back at all. It looks like okay, but obviously it could be a whole lot better as a little like cop out or whatever you want to call it. Just a way to make my life a little bit easier. I just throw on a bandana over it. Now you can't even tell that my hair looks like shit under it. <laughs> this shirt is so cute. It's just this long sleeve that ties in the back. I got it from H&M, I think. And now I'm gonna put on my jewelry. I usually wait until after I do my hair to put on my jewelry just so it doesn't get caught in my hair. So, this is my jewelry. This outfit very much gives me, it definitely gives like biker. <laughs> I have so much shit. We're all packed up and let's get back to the apartment. I'm gonna save y'all from having to watch me unpack everything. So we'll just skip to the next day. I made my vision board. I made this last night and down here it just says great things never came from comfort zones. I'm just air dropping all the clips from when I was home onto my computer so I can record. I'm not record so I can edit. But right now, real quick, I'm going to write down my goals. I wasn't going to, I was just going to try to keep them in mind, but I figured if I write them down, then it will hold me accountable, you know? When the year ends, we can always come back to this and recap the year. I got a shit ton of pens here. Um, I really like writing in color, so that's all this is about. And then I've got this to put under the paper, like it's just a notebook, but I got this to put under the paper just so the ink doesn't leak through and damage like extra paper behind it and all. In this notebook I do journaling and when I do like tarot cards I put my spreads in here. I do want to start journaling more in this year, so I might as well just put my goals in the same journal that I'm using for the year. 